for your money tonight. It is Valentine's Day. You may be looking for love, but scammers are looking for you today. CBS 4's Jenny Dreisler has been investigating romance scams on dating apps and how scammers have made off with a record amount of cash. In a dating age where your next swipe could be Mr. or Mrs. Wright, if you're not careful, you could fall prey to a scammer waiting to call you Mr. Right Now. Unfortunately, romance scams are the top scam type you see. Because who is on the other end of the phone could be banking on stealing not only your heart, but your money. They happen all the time. They usually entail somebody luring someone in with promises of love and developing a relationship and getting them in their trust bubble. After all, the dating world is now in your pocket, right next to your wallet. And scammers are taking advantage of it. Jennifer Adamani with the Better Business Bureau says she sees it all too often. Part of it is they groom you to become a victim. So then when the timing's just right, they'll go in to get that money from you and you trust them and you love them, so why not? Victoria Madsen with the FBI says she's dealt with more than 100 romance scam victims in her career with the FBI. Oftentimes it starts with the connection. Um, that we like the same things or we're interested in the same type of um, romantic partner and then that trust gets built. So as the trust is getting built, the secrecy comes in. That secrecy can really cost you. Madsen says most times the scammers are overseas and they come up with detailed lies to get you to pay up and fast. And the thieves are often targeting the most vulnerable of those looking for love. It could be a, a like a widowed support group or yeah, someone who lost a pet or is going through some sort of issue, um, not, not necessarily seeking love, just trying to find people in a similar situation and scammers insert themselves into that conversation. New data shows Hoosiers are some of the most at risk. Taking FTC and FBI data, Social Catfish, an online dating investigation service, crunched the numbers and broke down scams by state. Indiana placed 18th with 264 romance scam victims in 2022, with Hoosiers being swindled out of nearly $9.6 million. Median amount of dollars lost is around $3,500, and it can trickle, it can add up, you know, a little bit here, and then they do another breadcrumb and ask for more money there, and then next thing you know, you're out of a lot of money. You think those numbers tug at the heartstrings? According to the Better Business Bureau, just last year in the U.S., victims lost more than $35 million to romance scams. The Federal Trade Commission says 2021 was a banner year for scammers looking to cash in on people's desire for love with $547 million lost to romance scams. That's an 80% increase from 2020. You know, love is blind. And so certainly when uh, you care for someone and they're down on their luck, you want to do something to help them. So what red flags do you need to look out for? According to the FBI, the scammer makes promises to meet in person, but gives excuses as to why they can't. They will ask for money, explaining they have an owed debt or are down on their luck and need your help. The scammer will ask for money to be sent to them in ways that are hard to track, like wire transfers, cryptocurrency, or cash. The biggest red flag? The scammer will try to get you to leave the dating app or social media site and contact you directly. It truly is a prevention game uh, because they are not in the United States and it's hard for us to bring them to justice. Um, so we need to really get the word out, you know, to, to tell, tell your loved ones, especially if they're going through a rough time, um, a death in the family, a divorce, that they may very well get targeted. So how can you protect yourself? The BBB and FBI says be careful what you post and make public. If you suspect a scam, stop talking to that person immediately. Conduct a reverse image search of the person's photo if it seems just too good to be true. And never send money to somebody you've only communicated with online or by phone. And if you do fall for one of these scams, contact police, the BBB and your bank as soon as possible. Jenny Dreisler, CBS4 News.